Hello to my friends at Fairway Hills. My name is Steve Cool, and I am the CEO and founder of that company and that one and also that one and that one. Yo. Hey dude, can you make a video about the difference between constant wattage and self-regulating heat cable? Absolutely. I've been in the ice dam prevention and home construction industry for over 30 years, so I thought I'd take a minute to give you some solid down-to-earth advice on what cable system to choose. Because, after all, when these systems fail, the results land anywhere between a simple bummer to something pretty catastrophic. And frankly, I'd love to help you avoid landing on that spectrum anywhere. Well, let's talk about some numbers. The main advantage that constant wattage cable has, seen here on the left, is that it is cheap. You can usually swing by a big box store and grab it for anywhere between a buck 25 and a buck 75 a foot. Whereas a good self-regulating heat cable will normally cost $3.50 to about $4 a foot. These are the costs just for the product itself. Labor rates for installing both systems are roughly equal. But now for some breaking news. Reporter Matt Barcaro is live. When the cable overlapped, Matt started the fire. Firefighters suggest you replace it every year. Right, not a big fan of constant wattage heating cable. Seen here on the left, a 100-foot cable made by Easy Heat. On the right, we see a 100-foot self-regulating heat cable made by Radiant Solutions. Here's my quick top 10 list of things to know. One, constant wattage has a one to two year warranty as opposed to Heat Tape Pro, which is 10 years. Two, the fun part, let's dig into the manual. Easy Heat is a constant wattage heat cable, as I mentioned, and as with all constant wattage heat cables, it's not supposed to come into contact with electrically ungrounded metal. Three, remove all combustibles such as leaves from around the cable, both before and periodically after installation. Monthly, throughout the winter should do the trick. That seems convenient. Oh, and don't let this cable touch any combustible materials like the wood on your home. Four, according to the manual, you should never operate this cable above 35 degrees and definitely never have it plugged in when temps are above 50 degrees because forgetting to unplug can cause, well, you know. Five, and I'm totally screwing up the order of this because this should have been number one. As our buddy the fireman said earlier, these cables are never supposed to touch or overlap themselves in any way because if they do, they can start a fire and burn up. Ouch. Making matters worse, the clips that come with these cables are totally shitty, if I can use an industry term. That's why we usually find the cable spaghetti you see here. Hey, who's that younger, skinnier guy? The good news is that when we rip these systems out, which is almost a daily occurrence for us, it takes almost no effort. Six, you can see that if you try to use constant wattage cable below 15 degrees Fahrenheit, it can actually make the problem worse. And this is something we've seen many, many times. Like here and here. Put another way, constant water heat cable is a great solution for roof and gutter de-icing unless you happen to live in this area. Seven, providing you don't care much about electrical shock or fire, constant wattage cable can be used for ice dam prevention. Unless you have a rubber roof, a metal roof, a wood roof, tile roof, gravel roof, synthetic shake or shingle roof, or a flat roof of any sort. I should clarify, Heat Tape Pro self-regulating heat cable can be used on any roof, at any slope, at any temperature. It can be buried in leaves and safely overlapped without any problem. It can also be customized in the field to accommodate any situation, comes with a huge family of patented roof-safe installation accessories, and is backed up by the best customer service known to man. Well, okay, at least this man. Plus, it's the only cable in the world with an intelligent LED end cap that tells you the cable is working. Hey, I patented that. Eight. Repairability. As you can imagine, given everything I've said about constant wattage heat cable, it obviously cannot be repaired. And this is important because these cables do get damaged by shoveling, by animals, and by humans just doing dumb things. Of course, self-regulating heat cable can be repaired multiple times to stretch out the lifespan of the system even when accidents happen. And bonus, it can be removed and reinstalled when it's time to re-roof, something you'll never want to try with a constant wattage heat cable system. Nine, speaking of cheap, a hidden reason why constant wattage cable frequently fails can be seen here with a microscope. Geek alert, here's a side-by-side -side cable dissection on a black background so you can see better. What you're looking at is the difference in cable construction. I'll let you guess which one is Heat Tape Pro. Constant wattage cables fail the moment one of these weenie wires breaks, a problem that simply doesn't happen with the beefy guy on the left. The tenth and not final reason why constant wattage heat cable might be a lousy choice relates to its name. It's called constant wattage because it burns through the same amount of electricity on really cold winter days as really warm winter days. More like constant wastage. Sorry, it's Friday. Without getting too deep into the technical weeds, what I can tell you about self-regulating heat cable is that it responds dynamically to changes in outdoor temperatures such that on a warm winter day, it can use as much as 40% less energy than cold winter days thus the term self-regulating. When combined with a very basic thermostatic control like, like that, these systems become even more efficient. 
Listen, there's no question that self-regulating heat cables cost more to install than constant wattage cable systems. But I think when you look at all the potential downsides of constant wattage, it seems like a no-brainer. I apologize, I've droned on long enough. I hope I've been helpful, and uh, if you ever have any questions, I'm always here, just give me a call.